Hi, Rachel Folden here with Folden Fast Pitch, here to talk to you about the front arm, what it does, and how it can really help you increase your batting average, your slugging percentage, and decrease your strikeouts dramatically. Now, one of the most common things I see when I watch softball players is that their front arm travels downwards, more specifically their hands. Hands travel downwards. Now, it is of the opinion of a lot of coaches out there that swinging down on the ball helps create backspin, which helps make the ball go in the air. Now, while backspin can help the ball go in the air, it is one factor that makes the ball go in the air. The better way to get the ball in the air is to match the plane of the ball. And topspin, backspin, doesn't matter. You're basically hitting a line drive upwards. So what we want to do is we want to get that bat on the plane of the ball early. If we swing down on the ball, that bat is going to stick up for a long time, and we're not going to match that plane of that ball until just before contact, giving ourselves one chance to hit the ball. One chance. Now, no matter what kind of hitter you are, no matter how high of a batting average you hit, you would be dramatically worse if you only gave yourself one chance to hit the ball. The more chances you have to hit the ball, the more chances you have to hit it hard, and the more chances you have to get on base. So what we want to do is flatten that swing out. And the only way to do it is to make sure that this elbow and this palm work upwards. If you'll notice, look how early the bat falls on the plane of the ball. In fact, if I'm swinging full speed here, that bat's going to get on the plane of the ball way back here. So if that pitcher is throwing 65, 70 miles an hour, and I hit this ball back here, I might foul it off, but I'm still going to hit it. I could hit it here, I could hit it here, I could hit it here, 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 and here. I'm on the plane of the ball that entire time. So to teach our bat to drop below our hands early enough, we have to work on front arm mechanics. One of my favorite drills to do is to take tennis balls and put them on a tee, put the tee about chest height. You always want your hands to travel between the bottom of your chest and the top of your belly button. Any higher is too high, any lower is too low. So what we wanna do is we wanna take this key and we wanna put it right in that zone. As you can see, if I put this tennis ball on this tee here, it's right in that zone where my hands would be right between the bottom of my chest here and my belly button. I also wanna stand pretty close to the tee. If I wanted to, I could just hit the ball with my elbow. What I want to do is, I want to already start in my launch position. So, front foot open, back foot turned, hips starting to open, shoulders still square to the plate. I will feel quite a bit of tension here, that's a good thing. What I want you to do is, lift the elbow, bring the palm through, and pop that ball right off the tee and make it go upwards. Just like if I was an infielder doing a backhand flip. Same mechanic. So again, I'm already, hips are open, I'm at my launch position, and I'm just gonna take my palm, and I'm gonna pop that ball up in the air. So you can understand that the elbow goes up, and the palm goes up. Now, how does that translate to how we hit the ball? Well, our hand is gonna move in the same motion the knob of the bat is going to travel upwards, following the elbow, which also traveled upwards. The bat is going to fall down to the plane of the ball and continue on a slightly upward path. We're going to try to keep it as flat as we can, but you're going to notice that bat comes up at a gradual angle. The first one I'll do slow for you. Just like that. Now on this one, I'll go full speed, so you can still see that even when I'm swinging hard, that elbow and the palm still work upwards so that the bat has a chance to fall on the plane early and stay on the plane a long time. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you learned something today. When we hit, everybody wants 
to teach power mechanics, power mechanics, power mechanics. And trust me, I like to teach power mechanics just as much as the next coach. However, we still have to increase our ability to actually make contact with the ball. By working that front elbow up and popping that tennis ball up like we did in the drill, you increase your bat's ability to fall on the plane early and stay there a long time. Remember, a slight uppercut is just fine. That's what we want. That's how the ball is going to travel. When we turn, when we get our body, we get our hips turned, we get everything we need to get out of our swing from a power standpoint, we have to have good front arm mechanics. Make sure you guys subscribe to the Folding Fast Pitch channel and check in so you can see more videos on how to hit the ball hard and how to hit it far.